told you I was going to take you with me on that van life, didn't I? Okay, so in the last video that I uploaded, I briefly talked about the um, active stabilization of the CVE-10 and that it is complete horse So today we are going to simply walk around and look into Catalyst Browse and compare that to the active stabilization of the Sony CVE-10. And we now have the active stabilization in the Sony CVE-10 turned on. We are filming on the Sigma 16mm 1.4. Currently, um, the aperture is sitting at 6.3. Anyway, so I will now turn off the active stabilization in the CVE-10 and then have the next section go through Catalyst Browse. I will not do a full tutorial on how to use Catalyst Browse. There's a great video by my friend Mark. I will link that down below in the description if you want to check that out. But yeah, this is just to give you a quick comparison between both modes. All right, so the active stabilization in the CVE-10 is now turned off and this footage is stabilized through Catalyst Browse. As you can see, the crop is pretty much gone. You will still have to crop in a little bit in Catalyst Browse, but I was told that around about 90% gives you some good results. So how does that look? Let's move around a little bit. By the way, running your footage through Catalyst Browse also helps with the rolling shutter. And let's do a quick rolling shutter test here. And here we go again. This footage again went through Catalyst Browse. I actually forgot to adjust the shutter speed in the earlier video. The shutter speed is now sitting at 1 over 200th of a second, which is what you should do if you want to run your footage through Catalyst Browse because that will eliminate motion blur and this pretty much the downside of using Catalyst Browse because you will not be able to stick to that 1 50th of a second rule. Okay, so I have the camera sitting on the Mantis Pod Pro and my arm is fully extended. By the way, I will have a link down to uh, the Mantis Pod and all the other gear that I'm using down in the description if you're interested. Anyways, I think this is pretty much it for this video. I will go back in the van and enjoy my coffee. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll never miss when I upload a new video. All right, thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Damn.